With the iOS 8 jailbreak, a lot of tweaks are now outdated. Here's a few compatible tweaks to ease your anxiety. First off, I do apologize for my very long absence from this YouTube thing. I've been very busy and very lazy, so to make up for that, here's 25 tweaks to uh, hopefully ease your mind. The first tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Eternal. And this tweak allows you to theme your device to look similar to Apple's iWatch interface. Eternal masks the shapes of the apps that you have installed on your device into circles and splatters them onto your springboard. It allows you to scroll continuously through your apps in an up, down, left and right motion until you reach the end of your available applications. You can also rearrange the apps and position them to your liking. And if you decide that things are getting a bit out of hand, you can reset the arrangement of the apps. In addition to having themed springboard pages, you also have the options to enable or disable the dock, app names, and apply a different app mask. Although the included mask is a bit unsightly. And by pinching and zooming on your springboard, you are also able to resize the view of your apps. You can pick up a terminal for $2.99 on the Big Boss repo. The second tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Call Bar. And this tweak allows you to make phone calls while performing other tasks. This isn't a new tweak, but it has been updated to support the iOS 8 jailbreak. If you don't install anything in Else from today's round, be sure to download Call Bar. When you receive a phone call, it appears as sort of a extended notification and it allows you to interact with it as such. From there, you do have the options to answer, decline, set up a reminder, and send a text message as long as the call does remain incoming. During the call, you also have the same options as you would inside of the full-fledged phone application, and tapping the empty space inside of call bar does bring up the last person or number that you did call. In addition to that, you can also silence the call without actually ignoring it by clicking the sleep wake button or swiping up on call bar. You can make the call reappear by tapping the status bar that is, the person on the other end of the line still wants to talk to you. The notification center is also accessible while using call bar. By pulling down on the bottom tab, you can interact with it as if it's never moved. And as if this tweet couldn't get any better, there's added activator functionality available. I configured my call bar to activate whenever I hold the status bar, just like the demo did. You can pick call bar up for $3.99 on the Big Boss repo. The third tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Slices. And this tweak allows you to quickly switch between profiles on apps such as Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Seeing that I don't have multiple Facebook accounts like Catfish do, I'll be demonstrating this tweak using Instagram and Snapchat. For those of you who like to keep your personal and business lives separate, this is truly a must-have tweak. It's not only tedious, but it's also annoying to have to sign in and out of accounts every time that you need to update your followers. Slices allows you to keep all the different profiles logged in on the same device at the same time. To set up a slice, simply navigate to its settings panel inside of the settings application and select applications. And then choose the app of your choice that you want to have the different slices for. Once you select the app that you want, go ahead and create your slices and label them accordingly. There's even an ask on touch option that you can enable. And this simply just asks which profile that you want to use and you have the option to create a new slice right there on the spot. In addition to that, it also saves the information within each profile such as the search history. I do encourage you guys to download this one. It's definitely worth it. You can pick up slices on the Big Boss repo for $1.99. The fourth tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Untethered Hey Siri. And this tweak allows you to activate Siri as you would Google now. With the new iOS 8 update, we are not able to wake Siri by saying, Hey Siri, what are you doing? Just thinking. That is if your device is plugged into an outlet of some sort. With Untethered Hey Siri installed, you can now awaken Siri at any time, whether you are plugged in or not. This tweak does need to be activated, however, and this can be done by opening up the settings application and navigating to Siri. Once inside the Siri preference, you will find a new option under All Hey Siri. Selecting Always will allow you to have complete control over when you can access Siri. You can pick up Untethered Hey Siri for free on the Big Boss repo. The fifth tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Polis. And this tweak allows you to customize the toggles and quick lunch portions of your control center. You can place any app on your device, stock or third party into the top shelf or quick lunch portion of your control center with this tweak. Nearly everything about Polis is customizable, including the look, shape and order that the items appear in. You can pick Polis up for 99 cents on the Big Boss repo. The sixth tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Lock Gift. And this tweak adds the Apple Pay completed payment animation to your lock screen. When your device is unlocked using Touch ID, the animation activates as if it would when you're using Apple Pay. And there's also an option for you to enable a sound effect and change the color of the print 
sit in idle or during a scan. You can pick lock lift up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The seventh tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Power Tap. And this tweak allows you to use your power down button to not only power down, but also respring and reboot. And you can also place your device into safe mode with that same button. As the name suggests, when you tap the slider knob, it replaces the slide to power off with a slider prompt for either one of the toggles. You also have the option to change the toggle text to wherever you please. You can pick power tap up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The eighth tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Flurry. And this tweak allows you to adjust the blur and tint level of different parts of your springboard and different applications. The notification center, control center, and lock screen passcode are a few examples of what flurry affects. You can pick flurry up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The ninth tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Preference Organizer 2, and this tweak allows you to organize your preferences inside of these settings applications. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that this is one of my favorite tweaks or a kind of a version of it. It's an alternative to the City of Tweak Preferences folder. Although you don't get as many options as you did with the previous tweak, you do get the relief of knowing that you can get to your preferences without the need of searching through the whole settings application. It automatically organizes your apps into sections such as Apple apps, social apps, tweaks, and app store apps. However, you can go in and rename the folders to whatever you want or whatever suits your needs. You can pick Preference Organizer 2 up for free on the Insanely I repo. The tent tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Status Hut 2. And this tweak allows you to stop your volume indicator from appearing on your screen in the middle of a video or whatever you may be doing at the time. Instead, Status Hut 2 places your volume indicator inside of your status bar and allows you to theme it as either a circle or square style and choose whether you want it to be a normal or larger size. In addition to that, it even shows you when your device is placed into a ring or silent mode. You can pick Status Hut 2 up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The 11th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Apex 2 and this tweak allows you to organize your apps based on relation to simplify your springboard. By swiping on any app with the method that you chose from within the tweak settings, you can stack apps related to the app that you have selected or access all the apps that you have stacked thus far. You can add up to four applications within the application on your springboard and to remove the application once you have added it to the stack, simply tap to remove. You can pick Apex 2 up for $2.99 on the Big Boss Repo. The 12th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called CC Background and this tweak allows you to change the background to whatever image that you have available inside of your photos library. To activate the custom background, simply go into CC Background setting panel enable it and choose your background and then click done. Your device will automatically respring itself and once it powers back on, your desired wallpaper will be the background of your control center. You can pick CC background up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The 13th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Cylinder and this tweak allows you to add animations to your springboard. It's a very cool tweak to have installed on your phone, especially when out in public, as you will get a lot of questions to why your springboard is going crazy. And yes, it is very similar to the tweak barrel, almost exactly alike. You can pick Cylinder up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The 14th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Side Elite 8. And this tweak allows you to uninstall Cydia applications directly from your springboard as you would any other application. It takes away the frustration of having to navigate through Cydia to find that one tweak and delete it. But unfortunately, this only works on tweaks that do have an app installed along with it. And it's highly not recommended. I mean not. Really don't do it. Don't uninstall Cydia or Pungu if you have that installed on your device. That is a horrible choice to make. <laughs> don't do it. But you can pick Side Elite 8 up for free on the Big Boss Repo. The 15th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called App Heads. And this tweak allows you to multitask better and faster using App Heads such as the ones that Facebook uses. It allows you to quickly access any app that you have running in the background of your device. When you tap on one of the App Heads whilst inside another app, it allows you to see a live view of the app in question, but however, you can't interact with the app in the background while you are using the live view of the app in the foreground. App Heads eliminates the need to search for apps in the multitasker because your most recent apps are already on your screen. If for some reason you no longer want a certain app to be open on your screen, simply drag the app onto the X towards the bottom of the screen to get rid of it. There are also a ton of options in the App Heads settings panel that you can play around with 
such as the activator methods and a few customization options. You can pick app pays up for $4.99 on the Big Boss repo. The 16th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Live Battery Indicator, iOS 7, and this tweak allows you to change the battery indicator. To clear things up, this tweak is available and is working on iOS 8, although the title does say iOS 7 on it, so keep that in mind. The indicator turns into a circular shape that decreases or increases in sync with the battery level on your device. It even recognizes when your device is charging and changes accordingly. The best thing about this tweak is that you don't even need winter board to use it. You can pick live battery indicator iOS 7 up for free on the Big Boss repo. The 17th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Smart Tap. And this tweak allows you to wake your device and put it back to sleep by double tapping your display. You can also slide up from the bottom of the screen or the top of it when the display is off to unlock your device or launch an app. And most of all, it gives your home button a rest. For those of us who have experienced the home button breaking, that's not a good feeling at all. And I feel like those of you who have experienced the power button breaking can say the same thing. So if you're like me and want to save yourself a repair, download SmartTap for $1.99 from the Big Boss repo. The 18th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Badgerizer, and this tweak allows you to customize the app icon badges in every way. It allows you to customize the color, shape, position, size, rotation, and even the opacity of your app badges. You can also add a border or glow effect to the badges if you're into that kind of stuff. There are presets for you to choose from if you're not that creative, or you can jump right in and customize it yourself. And if you're feeling kind of crazy, you can set it to randomly change. You can pick Badger Miser up for $1.49 on the Big Boss Repo. The 19th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Disturb Me Later. And this tweak allows you to choose how long you want Do Not Disturb to stay active. It disables Do Not Disturb after a period of time that you set by holding onto the Do Not Disturb toggle inside of the control center. College students, this is perfect for a quick nap. When you hold down on the toggle, a pop-up box appears that looks like what you would get when you set an alarm clock or anything like that. And this allows you to set the amount of time that you want Do Not Disturb to stay activated. You can set it for hours or minutes. Uh, it's up to you. So if you're like me and you need that nap before that late class starts, download Disturb Me Later and do yourself a favor. It's free on the Big Wild Free Pro. The 20th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Colorful KBD Pro. And this tweak allows you to customize the color of your keyboard in a unique way. It changes the color of the keyboard randomly every time you use it. So it definitely keeps things fresh. You more or less have a different experience every time you send a text, tweet, or just troll around on the internet. This tweak also allows you to choose a custom background from your photo library and apply it to your keyboard. In addition to that, you also have the ability to alter the hue, brightness, and saturation of the keyboard to kind of steer the colors in the direction that you want them to go. You can pick Colorful KBD Pro up for 99 cents on the Big Boss repo. The 21st tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Swipe Shift Carrot, and this tweak allows you to swipe your finger across your screen to move a character space either to the left or to the right. It eliminates the need for the little magnifying glass that's just the bane of my existence. I hate that thing. Um, it appears when you're editing text, but with this tweak, you can swipe between the characters without needing that. This tweak is reason alone to jailbreak your device because it's so much easier to text and take notes just like that. You can pick Swipe Shift Character for free on a big box repo. The 22nd tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Share Widget for iOS 8. And this week adds a share widget to your notification center. Now you guys who've been following me for a while know that I used to love the uh, widget inside of the notification center in iOS 6. Unfortunately, iOS 7 took that away, but this is a new tweak that allows you to do so. It allows you to create and share to Twitter, Facebook, create a message, and much more. There's also an option for you to create or select a picture that you can add onto your message by long pressing on the text box. You can enable and reorder the widget as you would any other widget that's available in iOS 8. You can pick Share Widget for iOS 8 up for free on a Big Boss repo. The 23rd tweak that I'll be showing you today is called Cobolia. Hopefully I said that correctly, but this tweak allows you to replace the recent contacts in the app switcher with toggles. Depending on how you use your phone, Cobolia could in fact make the recent contact portion of your app switcher more useful and potentially more safe for those of you who have secrets that should remain so. The added rule toggle simply brings all the toggles from the control center and it even plays nice with other tweaks that you may have installed that work with the control center. And as expected, you have the same exact functionality with Cabolia as you did with the switches in the control center. You can turn on and off the Wi-Fi, airplane mode, do not disturb, and anything else you have installed that deals with toggles. You also have the option to reorder or drag and drop the switches in the enabled or disabled sections. You can pick Cabolia up for free 
on the Hashbang repo. The 24th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Dock Ship, and this tweak allows you to change the background of your dock. You can choose between a number of different backgrounds, and you have the ability to resize or completely hide the dock. They even threw in a bit of added functionality as they allow you to hide or shift the page dots that will usually be seen towards the bottom of the screen. You can pick Dock Ship up for free on the Big Boss repo. And finally, the 25th tweak that I'll be showing you guys today is called Tage, and this tweak allows you to switch between apps more quickly. This tweak is similar to the popular tweak Zephyr with this multitasking wave as it allows you to swipe the left or right side of the screen to switch between active apps, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to either close the app or launch the app switcher, or swipe left or right from the top edge of the screen to lock your device. In addition to all of that, you can even swipe down on the home screen card inside of the app switcher to either switch off your device, reboot it, respring it, lock your device, or even put it into safe mode. Swiping down on any app preview card also allows you to quit all the apps running in the background of your device. You can pick Taja for $1.99 right after you have your three day free trial on the Big Boss repo. That's it, drop me a comment down below and let me know what were your favorite tweaks mentioned today. If you're feeling generous, drop a few recommendations down below of what you would like to see on this channel and check out the post that's in the description of this video for a written version of this video as well as a wallpaper download. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at jailbreakarmy. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash jailbreakarmy and circle me on Google Plus, I guess. <laughs> and don't forget to answer the question of the day before you leave. What's your favorite music release of 2014? It could be an album, mixtape, single, etc. Just be sure to hashtag I hear you, JBA, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>